leaking the information. It could have been from someone in the medical staff who wasn't supposed to leak that information. There's nothing they can do to control that, really. Except maybe tighten up their ship a little bit. I don't know. Uh, they were not deceptive yesterday at all. They were trying to take care of their player. They were trying to win the game. So the Mets deserve a lot of criticism for stuff, but not that. Yes. Yesterday, the way they handled McNeil, no, uh, sorry. You uh, could have criticized, criticized them if they didn't let Rojas speak about it. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> what they did, they did a little bit fine. Let's go to Huey in St. Louis, our pal. What's up, Huey? Hey, fellas, how are you? Good, man. What do you got for us? Hey, so you had a caller a few minutes ago. We got a guy that called about the Mets, but a caller was talking about the Cardinals and their situation. So what's interesting is they went to a casino, and Yadier Molina was one of the guys who went. So it's kind of been swept under the rug a little bit. You know, you consider Molina, obviously, with the, the, the great career he's had to be a team leader. Yeah. And for him to be spearheading that, I'm, I'm Oh, really Max and, and Chloe. You know, kind of like the... The yeah, my the dog the was baby. Well, I think mean, Derek Jeter was adamant about saying that it was not a strip club. It was a house party, right? right? Isn't that what right. he said it was? Yeah, that some guys were hanging out together and right. they were still breaking protocol. Which what I said, does it really matter? I mean, they all got sick because they did the wrong thing.